Hello and welcome back. Uh, today we are going to start module four of Google Certified Educator Level One. And uh, the topics what we would be covering up would be slides, sites, uh, classroom, and digital citizenship. So the first topic which we would cover here would be slides. Now slides also as a as an app had quite a few questions on G Suite and uh, why slides can be a good proposition for educators and teachers is it lets you present your uh, data in a very you can say in a fresh manner right so you could have good fonts you could have video integrated into it you could have text and then you could uh, share the slide with uh, multiple students uh, you know so that uh, you know they can collaborate on the same file and uh, as a teacher it also lets gives you a power to leave your comments for the work done by the children so we will uh, look into all these aspects of slides so let's uh, start uh, we we'll just go on slides.google.com and once uh, you are on the app, uh, just click on the blank presentation. So you could uh, you could uh, give a a name like my first slideshow. and leave your name. And uh, uh, each slideshow comes with predefined themes or uh, each slides app, sorry. So you could select uh, the, the most appropriate one which you feel uh, fits in with your requirements. So, and uh, as soon as you click on that, uh, you get your data automatically formatted as per the theme of the slide. Now, to add a new slide, just right click on the white space here, or you could go and insert new slide. So whichever uh, method you prefer, you could uh, do so. So you could uh, just right click and insert a new slide. Now the best part about the slide is, slide software is, the formatting options it provides you for each slide. So if you right click on this and you go on apply layout, so it actually gives you different layouts here. Now suppose I needed a title and two column layout, I needed Otherwise, I needed a section title and description like that. So if I just click on it, right. So you could do so. You could also insert one more new slide. And this time probably apply a layout of title and two columns. Or you could go ahead and just select a new slide uh, and take a blank one. Now, once you insert a blank slide, so what you could do is you could just go and insert text box and just click, you know, keep on inserting new text boxes if you want them in a different space of their own or you could type them one after the other so that way you could have uh, you know different text uh, you know feed it in now out here in this slide 
if you want to insert an image, right? So you could just go and insert image. So what I'll do is I'll search the web. So you can insert image by uploading, searching the web from your drive, from photos, from URL or by the camera. It gives you lots of options. So let's go on search the web. So you get a search box opening here. So let's get a lion image. And we could just click on that and just click on insert. And the image gets inserted. Now, once the image gets inserted, you could just drag and drop these handlers on the side and accordingly place it at the location where you intend to have them. When you go on a blank slide like that, suppose next you would wish to have a video inserted. As I mentioned to you, video and an attractive text makes with good font, right? It makes your presentation look uh, you know, very interesting for students because sometimes they get bored or looking at uh, you know plain text. So the presentations uh, slides uh, software lets you create a very interesting uh, lesson. So I'll just click on this and I'll click on select. Now, as soon as uh, you do that, again, it gives you a box uh, where you could just slide it off or reduce the size. Now, if you wish to present this, like demonstrate it to the entire class, so click on start presentation and if you, that's your first slide, so you can use the arrow keys to navigate through all the slides. So, as I explained uh, earlier, that one of the most interesting parts of slides is sharing the presentation with multiple editors and commenting the presentation by the teacher. So, we will see these two aspects right now. So let's uh, learn how to share this. Now, what I want to do is I want to share this presentation amongst two students with editing rights. So I will just select student one. Then I would select student two. I make sure I select editor. And I want to notify them and I would tie them. I would tie it here. And I click on send. Now, as soon as I do that, when the student one logs in and when student two logs in, if I am a teacher, I could actually see both the student icons here. It also lets me see live as to how they are collaborating also. So, which is actually a very good, uh, you know, thing as a teacher because, uh, Collaborating is one of the important aspects today in education and uh, Google has tools which lets you, uh, you know, uh, it allows you to do such uh, collaboration. So what I'll do is this time I will, now I'm signed in as a teacher. Uh, this time I will sign in as a student. So I will just uh, select student one here. And I will open the same slide which is shared with me. So if you see here, the slide is shared with me. So now, now I am student one, okay? And what I'll do is, I'll try and demonstrate to you live. So as a student two, I will change this. Okay. Now, if you see, it shows me which are the two people, uh, you know, having live access to the to the page. And uh, if you see, this is a teacher, and it shows me. Okay, this edit is done by student one, right? You would actually click on show chat and start chatting live. 
So as a teacher, I could just chat, you know, and put in my comment. So the student can actually see the comment at his end also, right? So that was how do you share it amongst, uh, you know, the students. A lot of times, uh, now the final aspect we'll learn is how do you comment the presentation and what if you wish to comment it comment a particular line of text for a certain set of students right so suppose you had a link uh, to a, a file you're like okay link to this video so And uh, what I wish to do is as a teacher, so now I am a teacher. Uh, so what I'll do is as a teacher, I would just select the text. I would click on comment, add comment, and I'll type the comment. Student, students all watch this and complete the essay. provided by email uh, and then I want to do is I want to address one line specifically or one comment specifically like suppose I type uh, okay now what I want to do is this is a comment which is for the entire class but this is a comment which I want to specify for a particular student. So I'll just click on this and I'll click on add comment. And I'd earlier shown in docs commenting, you just need to add plus student one. Okay, plus and then the email ID, you could add multiple email IDs there. Uh, you just keep needing to add plus. So what happens is this comment gets tagged and assigned to student one. And whenever that student one opens up, he gets to see this comment. Now slides is pretty much in detail, uh, but it's more or less like PowerPoint with all everybody has used. A very important thing I would like to explain to you is <laughs> when you go on file version history and you go on C version history, it gives you details of all the changes this file has gone through till date. So, which is really good because sometimes you feel if any student has made a mistake, you could always revert back to an older version and restart from there itself. It also shows you how many edits have been done to the file yet uh, and so on. So that option is available in file revision history. And uh, that covers up all the topics what we had to cover in slides. So when, it com when it's concerned with Google certified educator level one exam, thank you all for watching and I shall uh, see you in for the next class. Yeah. <laughs>